Hey, what is going on guys? Sergeant Stack Tips. Welcome to another video on my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at WonderFox HD Video Converter Factory Pro. This does support up to 500 outputs and formats and device presets, 12K, 8K, 4K, 2K, HD, and SD conversions with full control. You can download movies, TV shows, music, edit videos, and audio, record screen, and make animated GIFs and more. Achieve wider compatibility and desired file size and quality. So the only thing we're going to be doing with the software is transferring... The only thing I'm going to try is I'm going to convert my video file that I'm talking to you now on from MKV to MP4 to see if it works. That's the only thing we're going to be testing today. I'm not going to download any movies or TV shows for obvious reasons. The software does also have quick import. Drag and drop a single or multiple files like MP4, MKV, and AVI for quick conversion. It's got flexible output. Choose from over 500 output profiles, including mainstream formats and device presets. Adjust settings like encoder resolution, bitrate, and frame rate for your de desired quality and size. Hardware acceleration. Get up to 50 times faster conversions as compatible graphics card, NVIDIA, NVENC, and an Intel QSV. The software auto detects available GPUs. It's lightning mode. Enjoy ultra fast, lossless conversion when output parameters, encoder resolution frame rate match the original video, a lightning bolt icon indicates automatic compatibility, built-in editing before converting, trim, crop, rotate, add watermarks, apply effects, or merge multiple videos. You can also batch compress file sizes through the conversion, or sorry, through the con compression button. It also allows you to add subtitles and audio, easily add or remove subtitle subtitles and audio tracks, download and screen recording, and more. So this does have built-in screen recording, which we will check out. Uh, we got Beyond Conversion, download Download videos and audios from various websites, more than likely YouTube, even playlists, or record your screen with system and microphone audio. There's also GIF makers and more handy tools to explore. So let's go ahead and check this out. I've already got the installation file right here. We're going to go ahead and install it. Double click it. going to click yes on the UAC. Once the language selector pops up, we're just going to click OK, obviously. Click next. I agree. Install. It's going to install the software. This can take a little bit of time depending on if you're running an SSD or hard drive. More than likely going to take less if you are running a solid state. And once it's installed, we're going to just go ahead and click finish. It's going to run the software when you do install it you will get this page that's going to pop up it's going to ask you if you want to buy it this is the pricing if you guys are curious feel free to pause the video and check it out this popped up right before opening the application it says the graphics card supports nvidia nvenc acceleration these are all the encoders these are all the formats i can use so i'm going to click okay so it doesn't look like you can use it for free uh, i mean it might be able to okay so as in it's not forcing me to activate like i can click x and get out of there so that's good uh, let's just go ahead and test we're going to convert this video that i'm talking to you now on so i'm going to stop convert it over to mp4 and see if it worked all right, so I have my video file here. It is about 557 megabytes. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, I guess I can't convert it. All right, we're just going to convert. We're going to drag the file in. And obviously, it is MKV. We're just going to convert it over to MP4. And then we're going to click Run. Do I have to buy it, though? Try it. Okay, so it does allow you to try it, which is nice. So we're just going to let it convert. But it does look like it converted. Can I see the video? Okay, so you have an output folder here. It's going to go in Videos, WonderFox HD, WonderFox Soft, HD Video Converter. And then we've got Output Video. Now we've got our mp4 and the file size or the file quality doesn't look any different so that's a plus file looks fine the quality looks just fine we also have a temp so it looks like it's working just fine i'm going to clear that but yeah it looks like it works just fine let's go ahead and go back to okay so you have so you can click x on that um we also got downloader so if you wanted you can do new download you just put a website link in let's download one of my videos to make sure it works so i've got my most recent video for the pison 100 watt usb if you guys want to check it out there'll be a link up in the cards now we're going to go ahead and grab the video file we're going to analyze it as you can see that's a video file we can download it webm mp4 webm mp4 we can do it at 4k or uh, mp4 i think we're going to just go ahead and do it at 4k at mp4 and click ok it may not be able to download every single video because youtube does have a copyright protection thing built in i only know that because i've tried to download my own videos before i was able to download quite a few of them it's just you know certain softwares aren't going to be able to download it and i am downloading it at 4k so it could take a little bit it's not a very long video so it shouldn't take that long doesn't look like it wants to work. I'm not going to sit here. I'm sure it works just fine with the selected videos that actually work. We've also got recorder so we can screen record. Uh, I just got to click yes on the UAC. This is the little window you get. You can do format MP4 quality. We can do high quality. We'll do 60 FPS GPU acceleration on. We'll choose our microphone and our speakers. And then you can do stop recording with control F1. So you can do full screen, full recording mode or game recording mode, screen recording at 60 frames per second and then audio only mode. So I'm gonna stop the recording through OBS and I'll record a quick section of this and just see how it looks. Alrighty, so I did actually record a quick section. Um, this is what it looks like. You're not gonna be able to hear any sound, but I'll let you know if it. It did pick up my microphone. It is lagging though, as you can see. Yeah, you can see it's lagging. 
it is stuttering on my live wallpaper so that there is that um yeah it's lagging quite a bit which is interesting it could be because i'm already recording on obs but i doubt it because i stopped the recording on obs before i started recording this so i i don't know how the like recording software actually like fully works i'd have to test it further but that's what that looks like if you guys are curious now we also have gif maker which you can just convert video to gif so we can drag a file in convert it into a gif we've also got toolbox we've got photo to video maker split screen video maker ringtone studio so you can make ringtones that's actually kind of cool we've also got subtitle extractor to extract subtitles from files so that's pretty cool but i mean really that's hd converter factory pro i'm gonna go ahead and just activate the software and see if anything changes Nothing really much different about it. It's just a basic software that allows you to convert files. I actually might use it here and there. Um, I kind of want to mess with the screen recorder a little bit more. I'll let you guys know in the comments maybe a few months from now. If I don't, then I never really messed with it. But um, you can see a bunch of different conversion settings. So you can convert SD to HD video. You can do picture enhancement. You can change the mode. You also have temporary file resulting from merging. Output video folders. So you have a spot to change your videos. You don't have to do it in all those like you know, you don't have to go folder hopping just to find your file. Uh, subtitle folder, save image folder, your downloads folder you can change. I would just change this to your downloads folder. Like if I really wanted to click this little folder icon, that just brings you to the folder where it's actually going to be, which is nice. But if you actually click this drop down menu, go to your actual downloads and click OK. Just let it go to your downloads. That way, when you download something, it's in your downloads folder. That's just my recommendation, though. And then you've also got your recording. So when you record a video, you can set that to a certain folder to record to as well as your general settings. You can also do your CPU priority if you wanted to change this to higher or lower uh, for like lower end systems. That way this would take more priority over another software. So there is that. I would try the gaming recorder, but unfortunately if it's gonna run like that on just my desktop using a 30 frames per second live wallpaper, I don't think it's gonna do very well in the gaming section. I could have been doing something wrong. But yeah guys, if you wanna check out the software, there will be a link in the description below. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and I wanna thank Wonderfox for sponsoring this video. Once again, Wonderfox Soft Inc, that's their full name. Uh, there will be a website link and then the software link so you guys can check out their website as well as their actual software. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like if you liked it, dislike if you thought it sucked. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't done so already. I'll see you guys next video and peace out.